All right, spring is here and we're going to see a lot of sunshine this weekend after a very spring like week we had this past week with a lot of rainfall. Taking a look this morning, our visibility in some places across the River Valley is starting to dip just a bit, especially across Poto. We're only at a half mile of visibility this morning. Some thick fog across uh, Poto this morning and the rest of LaFleur County. Most of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, though, is pretty good with that visibility just in eastern Oklahoma. We're starting to see some of those issues. Cooler temperatures this morning because all that rainfall that we saw from the past couple of days, we're going to see temperatures topping out in uh, the mid 40s for this morning across the River Valley. Temperature is going to be trying to reach up into the 50s. We're going to see that northwest wind throughout most of the day today. We had a cold front move through yesterday evening. That's what produced those thunderstorms across Logan County. That's why temperatures are much cooler heading into this morning. All right, taking a look at our rainfall update. Again, we are well above where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Almost 14 inches of rainfall since the beginning of the year. We're about five inches more than where we're supposed to be for the start of spring. Across Fort Smith, we're seeing about four and a half inches above where we're supposed to be this time of year. Daytime highs for today. Temperatures going to be in the high 60s across the River Valley. We're going to see temperatures in the mid to high 50s, mainly across northwest Arkansas. Maybe just starting to see some of those 60s. Tonight's overnight low is going to be in the low to mid 40s across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Again, this weekend, plenty of sunshine. Good to see some cloud coverage during the day. Temperature is going to be topping out close to 60 degrees today, closing in on 70 degrees heading into Sunday. Overall, this upcoming week, pretty normal for northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Above average temperatures further down towards the south, cooler temperatures further out towards the west. Our only disturbance this weekend is going to be potentially heading into Sunday evening, but it's coming very late. Taking a look at 1030 on Sunday after a long day with mostly sunny skies. We could see a small disturbance with some of those showers coming late Sunday heading into Monday. Monday, but that is our only rain chance for this upcoming weekend. If you don't have anything to do this weekend, here's some spring like things to do gardening. We have no freezes expected this weekend, so you can definitely try to plant those uh, flowers this weekend. Waterfall hike. Those waterfalls are running pretty smoothly this uh, weekend as we saw several inches of rainfall. It's time to cut that grass. I know there are some grass cutting fans out there. Those dads out there looking to cut up the grass for the first time this season. You got plenty of sunshine this weekend, and I imagine after all that rainfall, it's probably pretty tall this weekend. Northwest Arkansas this week, we're going to see plenty of sunshine again this weekend. Temperature is going to be in the low 60s to mid 60s. Our only disturbance is coming Sunday night and then Monday through Wednesday. We have a really nice stretch of weather. Where we're going to see sunshine every day and temperatures are going to be in the 60s and 50s. Our next disturbance heading into next week is coming Thursday. That would be the fourth Thursday in a row for us that we're going to have the potential for some thunderstorms. That's going to carry on into Friday. Take a look at the weekend across the River Valley. Saturday, Sunday, temperature is going to be warmer. We're going to see temperatures in the high 60s to 70s and a warm start to this upcoming week. That disturbance on Sunday knocks down temperatures a few degrees heading into Monday, but we're still going to see a lot of sunshine. It's beautiful. I mean, what, what else could you ask for in Arkansas, right? Just some beautiful weather, especially with the rain coming in, like you were talking yeah. about, those, those waterfalls are going to be full, 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 full. That's the one thing I would ask for is the, the fact that we need that wind to pick up a little bit and we need a little bit more sunshine today so we can get those trails dry it off so mm -hmm. we're not covered in mud when we're heading oh. out to those waterfalls. Get For the most part, if you head this afternoon, you should be fine. If you go on Sunday, even better chance for a dry trail and those waterfalls are still going to be running. And even for mowing grass, like you were saying, I think today might be a little, you got some wet grass you, you out gotta there. Wait. You got to wait until the afternoon definitely today to let that grass kind of dry to dry out. And I know some people may think we're crazy about talking about this, but this is, this is a real thing. There are grass fans out there, my father-in-law being one oh of my them. Goodness, I've seen those posts. Today would be the day that he would be putting on the <laughs> white New Balances oh and my going goodness. out there and cutting grass <laughs> throughout half of the day today. Those and I guarantee issues. you, there's someone out there watching right now saying, you know what? I'm going to gas up the lawnmower today, fire it up, and get that lawn looking nice. It is spring, and it is time to get the front yard looking nice so that the rest of the neighbors don't judge you. <laughs> no, I'm a dad. I'm not quite there yet. Yeah, I'm still in an there. apartment. They cut my grass for me, so I don't have to worry about that until we come to a, uh, it's come to a big homeowner. <laughs> All right.